Hey guys, and welcome to Wrestling Days. So, uh, what a frustrating show this was, uh, this NXT uh, show. It was just a recap show. All we got was just a look back at NXT TakeOver, which I don't mind doing because it was absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, but that was last Friday. I was hoping for something... Uh, new um, and really it was a missed opportunity you know they could have they could have got out there uh, a lot of the talent that didn't feature um, like Santana Garrett and uh, Liv Morgan um, I know there's a couple of Indian guys uh, that I'm, I've been waiting to see uh, perform um, which you know they haven't had any TV time yet um, there's, there's quite a few uh, Mike Knox um, the the list goes on, but um, it's such a shame that those guys don't get don't get the TV time. Instead, we just look back, and I don't mind looking back, but for a whole show, the only other thing we got was Kathy Kelly in some kind of CGI nightmare. Uh, we had um, some backstage interviews, which really didn't do anything to further any kind of storylines. Um, you know, Bailey surprisingly was disappointed at losing the women's championship. Who knew? Finn Balor said that he felt like he'd been in a war. What? Why? What was the point? Um, annoying. Just, just really annoying. Not Finn Balor. Uh, the <laughs> the way the show was put together. Um, the Samson uh, against Cruz match was the the only kind of original content, uh, certainly in ring wise. Um, you know, Samson came out, started to play an, another song. I mean, what a weird way of booking him! They're booking him um, as a heel, and they're not trying to get him to use traditional heel tactics. They're getting him to sing songs, and um, but I suppose in in a, in in a way, he's being booked like the Honky Tonk Man, um, only with nowhere near the talent that the Honky Tonk Man had or the charisma that the Honky Tonk Man had or the originality that the Honky Tonk Man had. In short, he's awful. Um, the in-ring work was forgettable. Um, I, remember, I remember the standing moonsault from Cruz... Um, Samson got his knees up, which I think is the first time I've seen someone do that. Um, and uh, there was quite a good knee to the, the jaw from Samson. Um, uh, other than that, there was a decent drop kick. And then there was just a few of the paint by numbers kind of moves. But this was forgettable. This was a forgettable match. And I'm so glad it didn't feature on the NXT TakeOver card. Because it really would have watered it down. Um... Other than that, it was just announced that we'll see uh, Nakamura in action next week. Austin Aries will be on the show next week. No word about Bobby Roode, but um, from what I've heard rumour-wise, he was backstage at WrestleMania. That's that's a done deal. Apparently, he signed with NXT the week before uh, TakeOver, so uh, expect expect to see him very soon. Um, and yeah, just look, one of those shows, draw a line under it. They gave us a phenomenal show on Friday. Suppose can't ask for too much. Just wanted, just wanted something more than a recap show. But hey, what are you gonna do? Cool. Uh, don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Wrestling Days UK. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be crazy good if you did. I really would appreciate it. Um, and hopefully see you again next time. Bye for now.